Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson in this Tosca automation course. Today we are going to talk about the execution section in Tosca. Tosca helps you to execute your test cases with the help of execution lists. Now what's the difference between the execution lists and what we have seen earlier which was called the scratch book. In scratch book we used to individually run our test cases. But if you noticed once you close the scratch book all your results are gone. So it's not an ideal way of running your tests because you require the results for uh, debugging or for generating your reports or for historical purposes, right? So execution list is the recommended way of running your tests once they are ready. Let's see what are these execution lists. So it's nothing but it's a collection of your test cases which are already ready for execution. And all the results of these executions are always stored in the execution list. So if you are running your test cases on different iterations, right? So there are several iterations you want to run your test cases. All the iterations, whether passed or failed, would be stored in the execution list. Once a test case is added to an execution list, it becomes an execution entry. Now there could be different execution entries or that could be execution entry folders. If you want to make some changes after you have added your test cases to the execution list, you can do that in the test cases section and then you can go back to the execution list and you can just synchronize the execution list with the test cases so that all the changes which were made should also be reflected in the execution list. The best way to create an execution list is by dragging and dropping a test case or a test case folder to the execution list. That will create the same folder structure which you have in the test cases section. You can also do that manually by going to the execution list and creating your own folder structure. Right, so that all your tests are organized as per your functionality or as per your executions. So this is what execution list is all about in Tosca. Let's see how it looks like in Tosca, how you can create an execution list, how you can actually run your execution lists and how the results are stored. So now I am back to Tosca where we had earlier created two template instances uh, basically two test cases from our template instance right and now we want to execute this so you can always go ahead and execute it from the scratch book but the results are not stored so the other way is to go to the execution list now the execution list is the green folder in Tosca and if you don't see it uh, in your home page then what you can do is go to the section and there you will find the execution okay so let me drag this into the view so that we can see both the test cases and the execution now as you can see under execution there are some default folders already created by Tosca so there is the execution list which contains some standard module examples which you can go ahead and run it or there are some virtual folders there is also exploratory testing, interactive testing, and configurations and test events. We'll talk about test events later. But now we are concentrating on the execution list, right? So as I said, creating a execution list is pretty simple. You can directly drag your test cases folder or your individual test cases into the execution list. Now what I can do is I can create a separate execution folder right or execution list folder inside this execution list this is to just segregate my folder from the other folders okay so let me call it the source demo right so this is my source demo execution list entry folder and inside this I want to have my test cases okay so what you can do you can just drag it and you can drag it to the source demo folder now that will create an execution entry list which will have the actual log which contains all the logs 
uh, after your test cases are run and it will contain this test cases folder uh, inside that it will have the template instance and inside that you will have the test cases so basically the same structure which you have in your test cases the same will be created here now it's better to name this execution list right so i will just name it um, demo execution you can name it anything you like okay uh, so this is my execution list entry which has been created here containing my two test cases the next thing is how to run them right so you can directly go to your execution entry here and right click and that will show you an option called run now there is something also called run as manual test case but right now we are not focusing on that so go ahead and run this and you will see that now it will start running all the test cases which are present in that execution entry list okay so we have two test cases so it will be running two test cases one after the another and then finally it will take us back to the execution list where we can see all our results from this execution okay so now tosca is running our test cases uh, that's the first test case then it will launch the second test case and once it's done it will process the results and show us in the execution list okay as you can see it is processing the execution results and it has taken us back to the execution so let me bring this to center so that we can see this clearly so as you can see in the details section you will find your execution details okay now you can add or remove um, any columns here from the column chooser you can find lots of other um, other columns which you want to uh, add here which you can certainly add like um, summary or the end time so that you have the duration already how much time it took to uh, run this test case right what was the start time and some other details and once you expand this you will see that one test case was passed and one was failed right and it will show you the steps uh, what failed and what passed okay so this is how you can execute your test cases from the execution section in execution list and all the results would be stored until you don't delete it or archive it right so whenever i come back here and i want to see my results it will be present here okay so that's the advantage of execution list and that's the recommended way of running your test in real time